Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Well, now I'm on sort of like a rant with this Chris Note thing, and, and I'm going to expose him. And then I'm going to tell you why I exposed him at the end of my all these rants. Okay, so I hope you guys saw the last video where he, what he did at my book party in front of all those cops and everything. Now let's talk about, I believe it was a little before the book party. He and I was hanging out because of course he had just gotten fired from Law and Order. I may not be right on that. I don't know if he, I knew him while he was still working on the, on Law and Order. But let's talk about this one. So one day, he was, this is when he was dating Beverly Johnson. And I don't know if he was living with her, but I, she had a 16 year old daughter. I don't, okay, so 16 year old daughter. Again, when Chris does blow, he gets really stupid, really cocky, and he's an obnoxious individual. Couple that would drink, he, you don't wanna be around this guy. He, he's bad business. So, he leaves his house, his apartment, which I've been in many a time. I can tell you what it looks like. It's on 10th Street in the west side of Manhattan. He lives on the ground floor, the lobby level. He has a house with a sunken living room. He has a bunch of models from World War II, model fighter planes. His dad was a pilot in World War II. So I, I, you know, there's no disputing that he and I were close friends or he was, he, he was just hanging out with me because he knew they were going to be doing a movie about me. And that's why he's just a piece of crap. I didn't care. Hey, I was, I was starstruck. Wow. My new best friend is Chris. No, the movie star, TV star, you know, I, I, I don't just get, understand this guy. So he go, he's on a binger. He's on a binge cocaine binge. He walks out of his house. Now there's a canopy, there's a doorman, and all of a sudden he walks early in the morning, walks right into a news crew. Boom! And they're asking him about the allegations that he beat, he assaulted, and he did something with the uh, Beverly Johnson's 16 year old daughter at the time. And I don't know what it was, but she gets a restraining order. I don't know if it was in Los Angeles or in New York, I know, but they served him with a restraining order. He comes out of his apartment and he runs up the street on film. You guys, you guys can Google this. He runs up the street like, like he's being chased and they're going, of course they got big heavy cameras and the file, and he just doesn't say nothing because he's all wired on cocaine. Then he tells me the story. I go, dude, I just saw you on TV. Why did you run? Why didn't you talk to them? She so got a restraining order. What happened? And then he told me that, that, that Beverly Johnson and him were heavily, heavily into cocaine, both of them. And then she would act however she acted, but, and he acts like a complete idiot, like a complete idiot. When I think of all the times he made me look like a fool, just going to clubs, to clubs, strip clubs, and. I don't know what I was thinking. I look back now, and what, what the hell was I thinking with this guy? So anyway, I ask him, why did you run away from the media? You can't run away from the media. They know where you work. They know, where I, what are you kidding me? He goes, no, I was all wired up. I thought they would be able to tell I was high. I go, okay, there you go. There you go. So that's another story. Now, I don't know what part I'm just guessing that Beverly Johnson's 16 year old daughter must have been a beautiful girl at that time. Tall, beautiful. I, I, I don't know what happened there, but I know he threw her name into the mix and he ran up the street like one of those guys that I caught on, uh, uh, on one of those sting operations where you catch a pedophile and they run down the street <laughs> to the cop's arms. I don't know. But I do know that's what he did. And so that's the Beverly Johnson story. And then we're going to come back with a couple of more. Thank you guys for tuning in. 
and I hope I'm coming across right. I hope I'm not coming across as somebody just like snitching on a friend. He was never no friend of mine. And when I found out what he did to my pregnant wife, now it's game on. Now I'm really fuming. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. God bless you guys. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe.